Hey Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is going to be your general uh, forecast for the week of July 11th through the 17th, 2016. Okay, before I begin your reading, uh, Libra, I do want to take this opportunity to thank um, you all for uh, the birthday wishes and uh, the continued support of me and my channel. Um, it is greatly appreciated. Yes, I've uh, had a week off and it's... Um, been a very good week i'm well rested and ready to get back at the grind all right so for libra upcoming some of you that i'm reading for have the potential of dealing with the energy of the knight i'm sorry the queen of wands uh excuse me i thought there was two cards sticking here so the queen of wands is in the upright so this is a good card in terms of energy for some of you this week this week involves um you know passion the wands always represent physical movement so there could be something that comes in for you very quickly keep in mind that this is just a general reading and i'm trying to cover and broaden all areas of your life in terms of the messages that come forth so something comes in um this also is an intense week for some of you now the queen also could be uh, a male since it's female uh, energy, but something is intense, passionate. Then also, too, I'm hearing. Uh, be careful of the female for some of you um, in dealing with a female, possibly this upcoming week who's coming across as being bitchy, somewhat demanding and one things her way. Uh, again, this could represent male energy too, so it could go either way. But I just got this message. Someone is being very, um, and then you think in terms of the queen as a mother energy or, you know, an older sister, someone that you regard as someone older than you. But there, I'm just hearing that either demands are being placed on you and they're coming across as being um, not necessarily needy but just somewhat forceful okay okay outside of that message then the intense intensity and passion comes forth and there's good and you know not necessarily bad Good vibes and bad vibes, I should say. So, uh, for some of you, I feel that this is a very creative week for some of you. Some of you who are creative artists, um, the wands represent that passion that you have in terms of your work or projects that you're working on. Also, the queen is a court card, so this is an actual person. So, there could be the emphasis of uh, the single Libras possibly meeting someone new now. It could be someone new in terms of love and relationships. Or it could be a friend, new friend. There's something um, that may be occurring or possibly a development of a new friendship where the work is concerned. And then something going on um, in terms of the family structure. OK, I just feel that this is a very physical card of movement. OK, something comes in and occurs quickly and there's passion now since the queen is in the upright from the past energy that i'm getting there may be a situation now this is a relationship that i'm i'm hearing um maybe that energy that i was saying that someone was coming across as being uh, you know bitchy um possibly argumentative argumentative and then um um just heated just very heated and intense Okay. Now I normally get this energy when they're in the reverse, but something happened here uh, in the past uh, with some of you Libras, possibly dealing with another fire sign, Lib uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female. Something was in very, very, very intense where I feel that there may have been some sort of heated arguments or someone was upset. Someone was bitchy or demanding. Uh, towards you also too in the past 
because it's not all completely negative, there could have been something going on that was very passionate and intense with another individual that was a fire sign, minus the arguments, the bitchiness, and the demandingness. Okay? So it's it's I'm you know, it's a lot of messages I'm getting here with this queen and I can't seem to move forward because it's it's a lot of energy. It's like I'm feeling I'm feeling the heat from this card, actually. But anyway, let me try to move on. But uh, in your past position, yesterday going back to two weeks, and it's still part of your reading for this week. Um, now we have the Herald of Swords. Okay? Now, because the Herald of Swords sits next to the Queen of Wands, and I was mentioning that there was someone being bitchy or demanding towards you, this Herald of Wands is saying that in the upright position that you may have received um, some upsetting news. Now, again, it doesn't necessarily have to be within terms of a relationship, but I'm getting it was since it's, it's uh, again next to this Queen of Wands. So you, the Herald also represents an actual person to me. So there was some sort of uh, upsetting news that was delivered to Libra, uh, possibly connected from a fire sign. Uh, didn't go over too well and this card is about um, not only receiving upsetting news it also is about having to make uh, decisions and having to make decisions and then having to be determined and sticking to those decisions also this is a card of gossip Herald of Swords and that Gossip relates to, um, it may re uh, relate to the news, the upsetting news, and it was new. It was something that came to you that was new, so that's the Herald, okay? Something upsetting. Moving forward, that energy still carries forward, that there is the potential of the Libra, some Libras that I'm reading for, of either hearing some sort of gossip and receiving some sort of upsetting news this week. Also, decision making. It may or may not be connected to the news that you, uh, upsetting news that you may hear, but there's something to do with a decision. But this decision is bringing in some sort of conflict for you. It is the Knight of Swords, so it could be that it comes from another air sign like yourself gemini libra aquarius male or female also could be the fire sign energy that i'm uh picking up as well these don't have to be direct air or fire but they could have air or fire in their birth charts okay i'm just getting a sense of something going on now we have the empress major arcana major life event so with the inferent uh, excuse me empress showing up in the upright there is some uh, positive energy here. Uh, well, the Empress is always about positive energy. It all depends on how you take it. Um, it's about growth and expansion. OK, also, it's the um, card or the, the energy of new ideals and, and, and birth. It could be actual birth. So it could be, you know, I'm reading for some Libras who are, you know, due to give birth this week. If it's not you directly, Libra, then it's someone that you know that you're close to that gives birth this week. This card also is a card of hearing news of a pregnancy that could be related to you or someone else that you know. Uh, but it's all about creativity. And this is where it accentuates the Queen of Wands as being um, creative and passionate. So if you've got uh, some Libras that I'm reading for that are creative artists and there's this passion that you have in terms of the work that you do or whatever it is that you do, this is a good week to put it forward because uh, this is the uh, card that's coming through to say that that could, you know, grow to expand in a positive way. OK, and then, you know, of course, it's the three. So it represents uh, triangulation or a triangle in terms of a love relationship. And someone is hanging on to a relationship. Now. I'm not judging jewelry. If that's what you choose to do, um, more power to you. But um, because it sits next to 
Uh, the emperor sits next to the herald and the queen as your energy. Those are the two people. That's where I get the, um, the love triangle for a few of you. And this may be part of receiving some sort of upsetting news related to that energy. It may not be, but um, there's something going on in terms of uh, gossiping around a situation. Also to the tail end of the uh, reading for you Friday going into the weekend. Now we have the five of wands. So this is all about, you know, uh, conflict battles. So this could be inner or it could be outer. Um, again, the wands represents physical movement. And it could be that some Libras um, are trying to defend their position or become somewhat defensive. Friday going into the weekend. This also, as I said before, from the uh, energy of the Queen of Wands, that someone is coming across as being very bitchy and demanding. And this may be um, part of that energy connected to the Five of Wands where this creates some sort of battles and struggles for you. This is from, this is the energy coming from others towards you. And then you having to be defensive towards whatever, um, people throw your way so this is um, a pretty interesting week for some of you uh, in terms of the energy uh, although I don't see it as all you know bad or negative it all depends on what's going on in your uh, your life in general um, so I try to cover as much as I can and give it to you um, so there's growth and expansion, news of a pregnancy or an actual birth for some of you. If it's not, you know, you directly as someone that you know, close to having to do some sort of battles and struggles with um, possibly a relationship or friendship, uh, something going on in the family. Uh, I feel that some Libras this week will um, receive some upsetting news. There's some sort of gossip um, going on then having to make a decision about possibly connected to that upsetting news. Um, but whatever it is, it's, it's, it's conflicting. It's very conflicting. So it could be the conflicting situation going on in a love triangulation. All right. So that's your reading Libra and the magical times empowerment card that I have selected for you is um, okay it says gentleness and on this card it says strength is gentle true kindness has wings and love in action endures okay Okay, so I feel that, the, you know, with this card, uh, gentleness, I just uh, want to throw in here to add to this message that some Libras I'm picking up strongly are just trying to achieve balance in their life, in all areas of their life. They're just trying to achieve balance. And that balance could also be representative of uh, achieving peace. And it just doesn't seem to be uh, coming towards you or you can't seem to, you know, to get it. OK, I'm just, you know, because I, I say that because of the doves in this card and how I'm picking up the messages. It's all about um, Libras, not desperately, but some of you could be desperately wanting to just be, you know, have peace of mind or peace in relationships or peace with friendships, peace in the home. You know, a peace on, you know, and, you know, within your uh, work environment, just you know, you want to, you want peace because Libras don't like to be thrown off balance. You know, if they're thrown off balance, then they get all this internal stuff possibly. And then outer stuff from other people. Hmm. I don't know why I just had to throw that in there because I was being fed to say it. But anyway, Libra, once again, I want to thank you for visiting my uh, channel. I do want to uh, wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, Libra, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.